Hey everyone, Marcus and Kara. Hello. Today's subject matter is insecurity. The women that have to deal with insecure men and the men that have to deal with insecure women. It goes both ways. I'm an artist, I like to express myself, and I used to paint because I love beauty. I like creating beauty, I live in beauty, I make love, I love beauty. But I stopped painting because it's boring and it takes too long, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I got into photography when she entered my life because she's just this walking, Artwork, she's so beautiful. I mean, how can I not want to take pictures of this? It's so incredible, the pictures are so amazing. So I put them on my Facebook page. I, I mean, I have to because they're so beautiful. I mean, I gotta share them with the world. They, they inspire people, like, look what you can be like. If you're, she's, a, she's hitting 50, look at her. I have to share this with the world to show you what's possible if you take care of yourself. And it's art. I get some emails from women saying, enough with the Kara pictures. This is a Marcus Facebook page. I just want to see Marcus. You know what that's like, guys? That's like going to Picasso and saying, I just want to see you. I don't want to see your artwork. I don't want to see your wife. I just want to see you. It's an insult, okay? What I am, if you open me up, this is what's in there. It's her. I love expressing that beauty and that love and sharing it. I think the issue here is why do these people not want to see these pictures? Why are they insecure? This is from a woman who wrote, the latest pictures of Kara are stunning. Kara, you're so lucky to have a man that treasures your beauty. He's so secure and this lady is so true. No man I have loved ever treasured my beauty and my body to the point of sharing it openly with people because of possessiveness, jealousy, and basically insecurity. So I was wondering if you could make a video about that, about the insecurity of men in relationships. It takes two to Tango. I agree, but not just men. I know men, they're very controlling, they're very possessive, and they have their issues and stuff. The issue goes both ways for men and women. It's the same thing. Each side is afraid that the other one might run away with somebody better looking, richer, more fit, more attractive, whatever. And when you start hitting middle age, that becomes kind of a big underlying thing. Even though people don't talk about it, it's there. There's that wondering. And when I start putting pictures up of Kara, I think that triggers some women and they get that fear. First of all, they get the thing that, oh, I don't look like that anymore. And they get depressed. They think when they hit 40, 50, 60 that, oh, well, it's over. I'm not, I'm just gonna look like a barrel and that's it. You know, there's nothing I can do about it. And that girl's like her, it's just genetic. She's lucky, I hate her. No, she takes care of herself. And if you did the same thing, you'd end up looking awesome too. And you could be attractive till you died. I mean, come on, it's not about wrinkles. It's about how good you feel about yourself, your confidence how fit and awesome your body is because if you like what you see in the mirror you get confidence there's a direct correlation between how fit you are and how confident you are and confidence is one of the sexiest things that attracts people both men and women so this goes both ways for men and women right yes absolutely I need to let her talk I'm sorry I'm like <laughs> I'm so disrespectful as a boyfriend right <laughs> I just talk all the time and you know what's funny is when the camera's off she talks all the time and I'm like just working so I, this is the way I vent but Marcus you're also an artist and as an artist um, the artists need I found this out a few years ago artists really need um, an outlet to express their creativity through be it I mean there's a lot of different ways they could do it um, uh, negative and positive and this is a really positive way you have to you know um, express yeah. your creativity is your amazing photography you are the most amazing photographer I've ever seen in my life and I cannot take all the credit for those pictures I am just a little peon this is the, the, those pictures are gorgeous from everything the sky the nature the bushes the everything the reason I like photography is because it's instant first of all she's beautiful and perfect there's nothing I would do to improve this right so I just snap a picture and I share it with the world you know guys this isn't about competition it's not who's better than who it's not what this is about this isn't even about perfection this is about inspiration being inspired it's about showing people what's possible and how you could be if you actually took care of yourself that's what this is about this isn't about trying to look 20 when you're 50 it's about being the best that you can be at any age anytime anywhere I would say feeling like you're 20 not looking is, is as important but, the, but feeling like the interesting 20. thing is your body is the outer manifestation of what you are inside so if you 
you feel like you're 20 and you take care of yourself, you'll probably look closer to 20 than your actual age. But that's not what it's about. It's about never getting sick again. It's about never having low energy or, or hormone problems or night flashes or, or anger or, or depression. All that stuff that people get, you know, they just if they, the last 40 years of their life, they're declining in health and that's why they get depressed. And then they hate people like her because, oh, she's got it made, she's, it's genetic. No, she takes care of herself. I just want her to be an example to you guys of what's possible, right? Right. And I gotta say this, she's shy, believe it or not. I just created the Kara fan page on Facebook <laughs> because there's too many pictures that are awesome, I gotta share them with the world. She's shy, she's like, she doesn't want people to think that we're showing off or anything, but the pictures are so beautiful, I gotta put them out there. She's not shy about nudity or anything like that, but she is shy about people thinking negative thoughts about us trying to you know, show off. It's not an ego thing, this is about beauty. It's about sharing the beauty while we have it and inspiring you people to see what's possible. You don't have to be like us, but at least be inspired by it. Yeah. And I, we know we can't please everybody, but we just want to sing our song of love and share it with as many people who want to be inspired by us as possible. Yeah. And, you know, we've been doing this quite a long time, um, both of us, and we have a lot to share with you guys. We did a lot of hard work for you. <laughs> In our world, there's only love or fear. Love creates life, health, success, freedom, happiness, and prosperity. Insecurity is a form of fear that takes away your lover, your friends. It robs you of your health and any chance of success or prosperity. The choice is yours. So if you start feeling any kind of negative emotion, ask yourself why. Where'd that come from? Why do you have it? It's a waste of time to hate, to be negative, to go thumbs down or whatever it is. Just, it's a waste of energy. Why don't you take that energy, it's the same energy, energy is energy, and use it for something good like Getting in, sh getting in shape, you know, getting rid of the negative stuff in your life. Because negative attracts negative, positive attracts positive. So start putting your energy towards the good stuff. Start improving your life. Start liking what you have in the mirror. When you start getting to the point where you like what you see in the mirror and you have confidence, then you don't have that fear anymore about losing someone. They're gonna have the fear of losing you because you are starting to be what you should be. Well, and I have to address something also. When um, you write negative things about people people online, it, it seems like it poisons the body. And when you write, if you notice this, when you write positive things about people, compliment people online, you feel good. Yeah. And you know you've made that person feel good. Yeah. And you're putting out positivity and goodness into the world. And that's going to come back to you. But if you're putting out negativity and hate and stuff, Immediately, it's a poison in the writer's body. I, I just feel bad and I wish there was something we could do or say, but you just had a great idea. Rather than sit down and write negative, get up and go do something that would uh, make a positive right. effect on your body. Right, and if you don't like how we look or what we're about, then don't go to our page. Go to someone that you agree with. It's simple. Now anyway, we're here to inspire you people. Those of you who want to make a big difference in your life, we're here to help you do it. That's what we're here for. We can't please everybody, but for those of you who want to have a ride on the space shuttle, we got a few seats left. Who wants to come along? <laughs> we're going to give you the ride of your life. Shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Karasfanpage.com. <laughs> Karasfanpage.com. <laughs> we love you guys. We hope we keep inspiring you. And go do something positive right yes. now. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Coming up soon on MarcusNews.com, middle-aged women who turned their life around and became hotter than they were before without surgery or cheating. We show you how to finally start living at MarcusNews.com.